Hi my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's not going to be a makeup tutorial. It's going to be a really short, kind of brief video explaining why I haven't been really uploading and why I've been MIA. I know I've done one of these videos in the past, um, but this time I feel like I took a little bit longer like posting on here. Like I went a long time without posting I should say. I want to say it was like four weeks, so like a month almost. And again, I don't want to sit here and tell you guys the same thing but pretty much it kind of is the same thing and i know you guys are probably gonna get tired and if you guys don't want to watch this video then you guys can go ahead and just exit um but for those of you that do care and for those of you that are wondering or were wondering why i hadn't been posting like in a while um that that's what this video is gonna be like i said it's gonna be really short and brief it's not gonna, it's nothing like oh my god it's so so long for me to sit here and like cry about or whatever um, but I did want to go ahead and let you guys know for those of you that were wondering or concerned or all of that good stuff. So, um, where do I start? It's not going to be anything, like, major of why I've been gone or, like, nothing, like, too, too big has, like, happened for me being gone. Um, but obviously there is a reason. And, um, so okay, so I did the video of me starting my new job. I've been there a year already, well, towards the end of November, like, the, like, a little bit after Thanksgiving is when I started at my job, so I've been there a year already, so I'm really excited about that, and with that being said, um, there was a lot of changes that happened within the salon, I don't like how I look so washed out, is it bothering you guys? I changed the lighting, because I didn't like how it looked, I still don't like how it looks, obviously, because with this time change, you know this shit is crazy, but moving on. Um, with that being said, around June or July, there was a lot of changes within management that happened. Again, I'm not going to go too much into detail because, I mean, that's nobody's business. Um, but all you guys kind of really need to know is that there was changes, changes within management, which if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be in the position that I am now. So with that being said, that happened, I want to say June, July. Um, and then in August, I got the opportunity and I got promoted to assistant manager, which I was super, super excited about. In the beginning, I was super nervous because I had never, I've never been assistant manager, let alone being manager at, like, assistant manager at, like, 22 years old. Now 22 years old, because my birthday just passed. Woohoo. Um, I never thought that I would be assistant manager at this age, let alone, like, being at my work such a short amount of time. So, with that being said, I got hired in November. So, November, December, January, February, March. Wait, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Being there, like, nine months, eight, nine months, I got promoted. And it was a really, 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 really big like accomplishment for me like I said I had never pictured myself being an assistant manager um so when that had happened I was super excited again I was kind of nervous because I didn't know what the heck I was doing okay whatever I'm just gonna leave it like this um so yeah and then as I did mention in my other video I was back to working six days a week and that's hard like the way that our schedule kind of works is from Saturday to Friday so within from Saturday to Friday I have only one day off one day off and all the days that i work six days are all eight hour plus shifts if you guys are hairdressers or anything in that industry you guys know you guys or we do not ever ever get off at the time that we're scheduled there's times when, when it's slow and we get sent home early but for the most part when it's super busy you guys are all like a team so you guys have to kind of work together you can't just leave everybody just like hanging when there's so many people waiting for haircuts for this for that and so and so so with that being said i work eight plus hours six days a week and that is draining it's stressful not even stressful because i i, I don't want to sit here and say like i'm so stressed but it like, I feel like it's more mentally, like, not so much physically. And I, I was telling my fiance, like, I don't even think I'm physically tired. It's more mentally, like, because I know that I worked so much. Like, that's when it starts to get a little bit, like, stressful mentally. Again, not physically. Like, there was this one time when um we had really bad winds. We had um, a power outage at my work. And I did, I was scheduled 9 to 5. The power went out about... Two two fifty three o'clock, I went back 
at 5 o'clock, the power was on. So I did 9 to 3, pretty much. And then I did 5 to 9. So I was there like 11 and a half hours. And like I said again, I wasn't like physically tired. It was more mentally like, oh, like I just did 11 and a half hours. Um, again, I try not to complain because I'm super like grateful and super blessed with the job that I have. <clears throat> again, being that I got promoted to assistant manager. But it is... It takes a toll on you. It really does. And again, if you guys are hairdressers, you guys know standing on your feet for that amount of time is hard. Um, you start to get back problems. Like, I'm only 22 years old, and my back hurts so bad to the point where, like, I move a certain way or, like, I lean over a certain way, and I literally get stuck, and I can't move, and or, like, I'm laying down a certain way, and my fiancé wants to pick me up, and I tell him, like, literally lift me up by my back and just have me, like, hanging. Like, just lift me up from my back because my back hurts so bad. Um, so going in, like, you know, when I'm to record, like, now, the reason why I'm explaining all of this is because I'm tired, and sometimes, like, when I get ready for work, I have my camera in front of me, and this is where I get ready, like, every single day. I get ready every single day, I have my camera in front of me at all times. So there's no excuse that I don't have my camera, I don't have my equipment, none of that. Um, so I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses. But honestly, like, there's times where I wake up, if I go in at 9, I wake up, the latest is like 7.30 and I start getting ready. Especially if I get up late, I don't have time to like do a full beat of face. Like a full beat face, I'm sorry. I just do my makeup and then I go. So I don't have time to sit down and I'm going to put the camera on and I'm going to, you know, give you guys a full on tutorial because I don't have the time for it. And other days for I, when I do wake up early, I honestly, I forget. Like I'll be doing my makeup and then I look up and I'm like, oh, like I have the camera. Like I, I should have recorded this look. And honestly, it's just... It just, like, passes my mind sometimes to to film because I'm just thinking about, okay, I need to get ready for work. And there's been times where I film videos and I look at the time and I have, like, barely, like, my face done or barely my eyeshadow done. And I start to do my face or I start to do my eyeshadow and I have to go. And I'm like, oh, crap, like, I'm not going to be able to finish this video. So then I just stop and I don't upload it. That's happened plenty of times. Um, so I think that's, like, the main thing is I work so much. Um, so yeah, if you guys see the back, the light in the back, sorry about that. But with that being said, um, yeah, there's just times where I come in, like, into my, into my room, and I start, like, filming, I'm sorry, and I start doing my makeup, and I totally forget, like, to film, or I'm just tired, and I'm just, like, kind of in a rush to get ready for work, I'm not really, like, in the mood to kind of sit down and put on, like, a front that I'm so happy, I'm not saying that like, I'm, like, sad or miserable or anything, but in the morning, I'm, I am not I am not. If you guys know me, you guys know I'm not a morning person at all. I hate the morning. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I love my sleep. If I could sleep all day, I would. Um, so, honestly, sometimes I'm just tired. And I'm, sometimes I'm not, like, in the mood to kind of record. But I do know that I need to get out of that. Because there's some of you out there that are subscribed to my channel. That obviously are subscribed to me for a reason. And I think this was, like the longest that I've been without posting and I feel so bad because like I would go on my YouTube and I would see that I would get like new subscribers and I'm like oh my god I'm not putting anything out there for you guys and you guys are still subscribing to my channel which I am grateful for and thank you so much for those of you that have been subscribed since day one and those of you that are new subscribers um without me posting new videos I did obviously just recently came out with a new video so if you haven't checked it out make sure to check that out um so yeah that was like the main thing is work um Working six days, it kills. It really does. And it's not even that, like, I have... Like, yeah, I have one day off, but it's not even the weekend. It's during the week. So it's like, yeah, that day I can sit down, I can record, which I do normally sometimes. Um, but for the most part, honestly, since my fiancé works during the week, we don't, I don't really do anything because by the time he gets home, like, not that I'm tired, but, like, I know he's tired because he works in construction. Um, so he doesn't want to really do anything. He just wants to get home, take a shower, eat, and relax, and then go to sleep, and then do it all over the next day. Um, so, yeah. As far as, like, personal life, not, like I said, nothing major, major has happened, but I did, again, mention it in one of my past videos that, um, we moved back into my mom's house. We were living in an apartment. We tried to do it. We did it for six months. It just got too expensive. We were paying just way, way, way too much for... It was a nice apartment, don't get me wrong. It was considered, like, a luxury apartment. But it was just way too much of what we were paying. We were paying, like, almost a more... We were paying almost a mortgage payment, which was ridiculous for a one-bedroom, one-bath. <clears throat> um, so we ended up coming back to my mom's house. We've been here already almost two years. Um, 
and I know that my mom obviously doesn't mind, and she's told me, like, she doesn't mind. Like, my mom's the time to, like, if she, if we're bothering her, she'll tell us. Or if we need to leave, she'll tell us. But me and my fiancé have talked about it, and we don't want to, like, overstate our, our welcome. And, yeah, I know she's my mom <clears throat> and all this, but us, just personally, we don't want to, like, overstay. Or we don't want to stay here longer than we actually need to because we're getting comfortable or whatever the case may be. So we have been looking at apartments. We have been looking at houses. My mindset is I don't want to get another apartment just for the fact that we already spent so much money on the apartment that there's no reason that we should get... We, we should spend more money on an apartment when we can spend that and we can put that money towards the house. Um, I know... <clears throat> If you guys live in Riverside or the IE, whatever you guys know, that it is super, super expensive. Um, so at this age, getting a house, I know, not that it's unrealistic, but you don't really see many people getting, um, like, buying houses at such a young age in, like, this area that I live in. Like, in San Jacinto or Jeme or Lake Elsinore, like, all those far places, yeah, it's realistic to get a house because they're cheaper and you can get a nice house. But, obviously, I'm not willing to move that far, neither is he because our jobs are really close to home so we do want to stay in this area but yeah that's kind of where we've been at where i've been at just work and just trying to save money you know trying to to do better trying to move on trying to succeed and him to like this these past couple of weeks he hasn't been working because again if you're if you guys um have boyfriends or husbands or friends that work in construction you guys know that when it starts to get kind of cold or starts raining there's really no work because you can't Depending on the construction, obviously, the, the like, the field, but they do, he does fences. So, obviously, you really can't do fences when it's cold like that because you just can't. Um, so, he hasn't been working. So, that's been kind of hard as well, like, <clears throat> just for the fact that I see him not struggling, but I see that it's, like, bugging him that he's not able to work or able to bring, like, money in, which, again, obviously, I support him. Like, I just told him the other day, like, when he falls, I fall. It just works like that when you're in a relationship especially when you guys are going to get married you guys are one but with that being said that is pretty much why i've kind of been mia why i haven't really been posting as much and i do apologize i really really do and again i just want to say a huge thank you for those of you that have subscribed to my channel and i haven't been posting that often um yeah that, that's pretty much it like i said it's nothing major but i just wanted to get on here and explain to you guys why i've been kind of mia and i will try my best to kind of continue posting a little bit more con um consistently and yeah if you guys have any future ideas of things that i should record feel free to let me know down below and i'd be more than happy to film that for you guys and that is pretty much all i have to say and i will see you guys on the next one